Alrighty, I've had a few requests to do another example of putting a hard drive in a freezer um, and just going through and trying to do a, um, a couple of additional steps with it. First of all, we're going to throw in uh, these little desiccant packs um, with it to try to maybe wick out some of the moisture. Um, I don't think that's going to have an effect because I believe the problem is, is once you expose the drive to the ambient air um, after it's been in the freezer, you're talking about a surface that is probably close to zero degrees, um, then condensing um, what air is already inside the drive and what air it pulls in uh, on that cold surface and it's going to create frost or at the very least um, it's going to condense and create moisture on the platters, I think regardless of whether that discants in there or not, but I could be wrong. Um, we're going to go through, like I said, put the uh, the drive inside uh, the anesthetic bag with the desiccant. We're going to then take the anesthetic bag, that package, and put it inside a Ziploc bag. And then just for good measure, I'm going to go through and put it in a uh, wrap it in bubble wrap as well. Um, the other thing was is somebody requested to have um, data written to this drive uh, to see if the data would still be accessible afterwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this drive right over here to our uh, imaging station and hook it up real quick. Just give me one second. Let me set this right here. Just to power it up, we'll make sure that it works good. And um, make sure it doesn't have any weird noises or anything like that. It shouldn't. Uh, this is just one drive we pull off of our parts bin. You can see it's busy up here. Shows that's good now. Go ahead and refresh our screen, and there we see the drive here. Recognize this without any problems. Go ahead and hit OK. And um, I'll just try to go through and start imaging this just now, just to make sure that it functions OK. Just give it a second. Drive is working good. Actually, the little bit of noise you may hear in the background is actually to the drive that's writing too. I think it has the problem. I just pulled one off a of part spin as well. Yeah. But it's imaging again. So we'll go ahead and stop this. Just wanted to show that the drive was accessible, that it does have data. And uh, we'll go ahead and get this uh, wrapped up, packaged up, and ready to go. Alright, I went ahead and got the drive wrapped up. I actually have it inside the anti-static bag. And inside the anti-static bag I also have the desiccant um, as well. You can see that there. And then I have that um, little package in a Ziploc bag. Try to go through and squeeze out all the air. Um, I'm going to go through now. I went ahead and did that off camera just because I know the crinkling of this bag just about um, drove me nuts listening to it on the last video. So um, it is right now. Let me look and see. It is 11 a.m. right now. And it's Tuesday, June 4th. Uh, 11 a.m. Tuesday. I'm going to go through and probably have this in there. I want to have it in. Somebody would recommend they want to see it in there at least 12 hours. I'm not going to come back in here at 11 o'clock at night. So um, I'm probably going to leave it in there until in the morning. So it will actually be in there for about two, maybe close to 24 hours by the time I get around to it tomorrow. Um, I'm in the back back here and usually we stay pretty busy up front. So I'm going to try to get in here and as close as I can. Um, around 11 tomorrow morning depends on how busy we are um, so anyway I'm gonna go through now and just wrap it up in some bubble wrap also just a note even in our freezer I went the extra step and we never use that thing but I went ahead and defrosted it so there's no additional moisture or anything like that inside there as well I mean it is super clean in here now so 
I'm going to leave that in there and we will check on it tomorrow morning and see what the results are. Okay, it is 6.42 a.m. I came in a little bit early. Let's try to do this. I'm going to try to... just took this out of the freezer. I'm going to try to make this as quiet as I can. Let me just... It's probably an epic fail, but... Um, like I said, I know how the plastic was pretty loud the last time. Take it straight over right now and hook it up to the imager here. You can actually see that drive frosting up on the side, especially along here. Okay, go ahead and power this up. We'll see what we have here. Well, that's not good. The draw is actually clicking already and I wasn't really expecting it to do that so just go through Move this over here and again this is just an experimental drive so it's not a huge deal but I'm gonna pause this and I'm just gonna go ahead and get my tools and um, get ready to crack this open here just one second. Really doing this informally right now, just because I'm trying to be quick about it. One other note um, on this drive as well is it doesn't have the breather hole on it. That was the other thing I tried to eliminate. We know this drive doesn't work now, but if you look here on the case cover, usually around here on these drives you'll have a breather hole. This doesn't have that. As opposed to, I think we used this type of drive the last time. It does. I think I'm just trying to show people that while, yes, people have in the past with older drives gotten lucky putting their drives in the freezer, it's really good to just dispel this as being kind of the wives' tale that it is. If a drive works, after being in the freezer, there really wasn't anything major mechanically wrong with it anyway, because putting it in the freezer is not going to repair damaged heads. It's not going to fix firmware corruption, and um, you know, it's really not going to fix electronic issues. Now, you can have a problem where, I think I mentioned in the other video, you have some of the chips that become uh, damaged and overheat. Uh, when the drive powers up, and that will actually uh, cause some issues there as well. Um, I'm trying to hurry because this thing is really starting to condense moisture on it. On the outside, it's really starting to get wet. This is how early this is. I forgot these two screws on this side. <clears throat> Three screws. Jeez. Make a mental note of that. Don't be in a hurry. And don't do this before seven. Yep, 
there is still, I don't know if you can see it, there's still condensation, there's still ice that is forming right there. You can see it pretty clearly. And this is a drive that's been sealed and there's no breather on it. Any type of spinning up of the drive now, you can just barely see where the drives, have, where the heads have swept back and forth across it from earlier. But it's hard to pick out in the video. Anyway, putting the drive in the freezer, again, proving to be wrong and not good to do. Visit us at acsdata.com if you need anything else. 1-800-717-8974.